All right. Well, I'm definitely deciding that this will be the last video for today. I'm just going to wait at least until tomorrow to see what happens with Piggy Finance on Phantom. All right, because they just went cross chain. But they got some rather interesting experiments for their pools. Technically, and technically, they're using a smart APR system, but they actually are using different shares. So that's interesting. So anyway, we remember a while, while back. I mean, at this point, it feels like years, doesn't it? Canaverse World was doing really, really well. It basically was doing pretty much better than what uh, R&D Playmates was doing. Uh, but unfortunately, because of like the impracticality, I guess. Yeah, the impracticality of the anti-dumping measures. They were a little too... It was too strict. So, Georgie, the dev from France, uh, basically he uh, he just scrapped the f uh, the first version of the contract. And he's been working on version two like for a long time. Like I think it took like at least a month, but I'm thinking more like one and a half to two months. I don't even know how long it's been. So anyway, hopefully uh, he's pretty much fixed all the problems with the version one contract. And then that, today, as of a couple hours ago, he's relaunched. Uh, version 2 of Canaverse World. So everything looks pretty much completely different. So everything is free to buy and sell and whatever, but uh, he, he he correctly figured out, you know, how it should be done. So the buy tax for Canaverse World, right, is 5%, and the dumping tax is 30%. So this is actually how you would actually want to do it. Encourage buys, maybe get a little, but get a little bit of something for it, and then punish the dumpers. So, because right now there's basically no sell in it. So you could sell as much as you want, but, you know, you're going to be handing over, you know, 30% of, you know, your quote-unquote profits over to what I assume is the treasury for the project. Uh, he also has reduced the uh, reward rate basically to 1%, but because of us that were in here since version 1, we get a 2% bonus. Now, I think there might be a way to grow your way to 2%. So, uh, how do I click this? Okay, more reward. Wait, the insurance of a long-term prize, 65% will be distributed over the months following the creation of nodes. The more nodes will be created, the more rewards will be distributed. Then there's vesting, IDO, dev wallet. Uh, so they still gave themselves 5%. Um, and you can see a... Sell taxes, conditional price. Oh, yeah, so he actually has a rather interesting tax system. So, okay, so he was able to code this. So he's got like a reverse progressive uh, tax system. So the buy tax is always 5%, but it's the sell tax variation that's kind of very interesting. And you can see the breakdown here. But basically, right now, Caniverse is worth, uh, you know, $3.06. So the dumping tax right now is 30%. However, if it goes to $10 up to $25, then the tax gets reduced to 25 and then so on to 50 and 100. So basically, if basically the tax system gets cheaper, the more expensive Caniverse World gets. So it's a kind of interesting way of looking at it because basically it's like saying, Hey, let's try to pump up the price, right? And when you pump up the price, you know, we'll reduce the taxes slowly. Which, of course, means everyone's going to dump as soon as, like, you know, you hit the uh, the threshold. But because it's just a 5% reduction each each threshold or tier, if you prefer that term, uh, I figure it's not going to be that severe. You know, we're just going to have to see because, obviously, this literally is just a couple hours old. So, you know, uh, you know we'll see how it goes. All right, but either way, I'm just freaking happy that this project's come back. So you know, there's, you know, we've been waiting a long time too, just like High Point. Uh, da -da -da -da. we have a plan. Funny, and uh, you know, the, the site does look better in four. I mean, I guess he's still having trouble with the zoom. <laughs> Actually, this I don't have a problem on Chrome, so this is obviously just a problem with my Brave browser. But you know, whatever. So, so normally I don't do no node projects anymore, but. If I were to do a node project, it would be like Canaverse World or R&D Playmates because they both used closed circulating supply reward systems. In other words, it just recycles all the tokens in the, in the ecosystem. 
Uh, I'm assuming that it will only print and mint new tokens if it actually runs out in the uh, in the reward pool. So, but but basically, this is effectively a zero inflation uh, rate system. So uh, it actually works out pretty well. And then if it does have to mint new tokens, well, then it'll naturally print tokens. It just doesn't keep printing tokens endlessly forever, like the Federal Reserve, right? That's why Universe is going down. That's why Ape Universe is going down, especially Ape Universe, because I told them what to do. I told them about the closed circulating supply system and the cell limits. And they, the dev I talked to, I'm not going to name him, but I talked to him and he, he said, yeah, this sounds like a great idea. And he doesn't implement any of the ideas I, we, we talked about. Now the project is dying. I haven't heard anything back since. The project is bugged because now I'm only earning like 5% of what I'm supposed to on Ape Universe. And it's just like, it's like, I don't understand why people just can't effing listen to me. Like, I know what I'm talking about. I know what I'm doing. And even when I make mistakes, it's still better than what everyone else does. It's like, it's just so frustrating. So whatever i don't care anymore but you know caniverse world is back i'm very happy and again i guess there's really just not much to say um so again we don't normally do nodes right but obviously i've been in this since pretty much the beginning when i was still learning the ropes so i was trying out all sorts of different projects and yeah i mean it's a testament to georgie because he could have walked away at any time and said you know f this but he did you know he stuck this out Literally, I think since January as well, just like High Point. So, uh, you know, we'll see how this goes. But, yeah, I mean, that's the other thing, too. Right now, people are kind of poo pooing on node projects, too, because obviously Universe and Ape Universe and a lot of other nodes are not doing so great either. So, right now, it's all about Titano forks. But, I mean, this will still make good money. And, yeah, it actually works up. I mean, you can't see anything in here because obviously there's nothing in here, but... It actually generates rewards constantly. So it's more or less operating like what you like a normal project. So it's actually very, very nice. And it's on Binance Smart Chain, of course. So you can compound as much as. <clears throat> excuse me. You can claim and compound to your heart's content for like forever, right? And with endlessly cheap gas fees on Binance Smart Chain, you know, you can just do it forever. So however you want to do it. Just bear in mind that you're obviously rewarded for compounding rather than dumping constantly. Because again, you know, you gotta watch out for that 30% tax rate, which is fantastic. Because obviously we, because you know, what take down there's a lot of things that could take down your project, but it's really when you don't have something in place to deal with whales, because they usually start the pumping or dumping pressure, and then everyone else follows them, and then uh, you get screwed, right? So. But I'm liking this. It looks pretty good. I'm not going to borrow anything else because, again, I've been, you know, with them since, like, the beginning, right? Georgie's also in the Elite Discord, though he hasn't really needed to ask us for any advice, like, at all. So, you know, hey, that, that works for me. And um, let me issue some more orders over here. Uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much it because I am freaking exhausted. It's 8, 18 p.m. I was running around all day this morning and our afternoon doing stuff. Not to have my family for a couple hours. And then now this is like my third video for today. So tomorrow I think I'll do the video regardless if I invest in it or not yet for Phantom Piggy Finance. And then, I don't know, I'm going to take like at least... Well, tomorrow's Thursday, so I'm definitely gonna take Friday and Saturday off. I need I need some time off. Like I, I just got like too many things. Plus, I want to wait on Krabat again to get off freaking of Avalanche, right? Because supposedly they they start the migration tomorrow. Thank God, because I'm so sick and tired. I'm sure you're sick and tired of all the crazy, you know, uh, thingies, the gas fees on Avax. So, oh, that's the other nice thing, too, because this is on Bi oh, I already said that. Yeah, that's the thing. This is on Binance Smart Chain, so you don't have to worry about the gas fees here. So that's another nice thing. And I consider Binance Smart Chain, despite how good the other chains are, I still consider BSC my home chain because that's what I started with, right? Like, a long time ago, like last year, when I was, like, looking for new income sources, the first thing I looked at was, hey, this Binance Smart Chain thing looks pretty good, BNB. 
And then I discovered DeFi and Pancake Swap, and the rest is history. I lost a lot of money along the way, and I made a lot of money along the way, but you know, I, I've grown and learned a lot. So that's the cool part about um, you know cryptocurrencies. So hopefully, uh, you know, that'll include Cannabis World. We'll see what Georgie's got, you know, cooked up, but definitely he should pat himself on the back. I think he's still approving nodes for everyone because everyone is migrating from version one over to version two. So right now you don't see it here, but there'll be a version one migration button. You just click that once. Pay the cheap gas fee and then you're good to go. And then you know it gets manually approved. So they're doing the approvals now, so you'll you'll see it soon enough. All right. Anyway, I'm done for the day. Uh, hilariously, there's only two pages, right? The DAP and <laughs> the chart. <laughs> Thank God. And um, yeah, I already said you get one to two percent a day. So nice, steady, safe, and slow. So we'll see how we'll see how it goes. And yeah, right now, oh yeah, G already said he's still working on the technicals and making sure everything's uh, up and running, and then he's going to start doing marketing. So hopefully this video will, uh, you know, do a little bit of a boost, but as always, much work to be done. So like, subscribe, share, spread the video around, subscribe to the channel. I think I just said that. And yeah, I'm done for the day. Fortunately, I'll, well, unfortunately for me, I'll see all of you tomorrow because I really want to rest. But, you know, my uh, no rest for the weary. So I'll just do one video tomorrow, hopefully. And then, uh, yeah, I'm going to definitely take a few days off. You know, I just, uh, man, just like, <laughs> I, I, I need things to calm down a bit, you know. I haven't even played any video games today, or barely any, right? So and that's probably why I'm going to be in a little cranky mood until I, you know, play some games. Uh, yeah, I think that's about it. So, yeah, check out Canterverse World version 2. Um... Hopefully it should be much more sustainable, so. And, oh, I I don't know if I said this, but when you are migrating from version 1 to version 2, you just click the button and then Georgie or Lou420 or the other, you know, developers will approve it, right? Uh, if you had multiple nodes, they will, mul they will combine all your nodes into one node, so just for simplification purposes. So... Uh, so I had Georgie actually confirm that to me in the Discord my, uh, himself. So, so yeah. So yeah, you're good to go. And uh, well, I mean, enjoy enjoy Canaverse World, right? So, thanks. And uh, yeah, I can see you sometime tomorrow, right? Yep. Have a good night or morning wherever you are watching this from.